Hello everyone and this video is going to be about disk management in Windows Server 2012. So for this exercise what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two new disks to my server and once we attach a disk uh, you would need to configure it with the partition table and we would be uh, you, we could use MBR or GPT but just uh, keep in mind that if your disk is larger than two terabytes and you cannot use MBR and if it's more than two TB you need to use uh, GPT for that so so let's do that first and once I've done that we would be configuring volumes on it we would be configuring simple volume and mirror volume span volume stripped volume and RAID 5 so let's go on our server so what I've done is I've attached two disks on it and at this exercise I'm using a virtual environment that's the uh, Oracle's virtual box so in case if you're using it the process is quite simple you on your server you would just go if you just go on settings uh, storage and this is add storage here add a hard disk create a new hard disk and says VDI and I'll be using the default virtual disk image next uh, dynamically located next and the size I've given 1 GB uh, for this exercise and that's it and then you just need to start the machine at present this is the machine that I'm going to be working on so I added 2, added two GB drives to this so let's go on our server so what I'm going to do is if I right click and the option comes here disk management and you can see uh, they have been uh, I have configured them with uh, GPT sorry I have configured them with MBR and uh, if you want to convert them back to GPT there is an option if I click on the disk and it says convert to GPT disk I just press this and it's been converted to GPT and you can convert it back to MBR disk so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple volume to, uh, to create a simple volume uh, it's just simple I would click on the disk space that's available I'll do a right click and it says new simple volume I'll click here do next now it's asking me that's the maximum space I have and how much space do I uh, require I'll give it 100 MB I'll do next it's saying uh, you can assign a letter for it and I'll just leave the default E there is option of whatever I want just leave it default do next now it's asking me that I need to format it and I could format it with FAT32 but I would be using NTFS as that's the default uh, format for Windows I'll be doing next and finish as you can see it's created a simple volume for me and uh, we can just check it if I go on uh, this computer and you can see it's created a volume E uh, 99.9 MB I'll just close that now I do have option of um, extending it or shrinking it I can extend it if I want it's simple I'll just do right click extend the volume next and how much do I want to extend it with I'll just extend it with 10 MB the total volume size would be 110 and the maximum available is 921 MB I'll do next and finish and you can see it's been extended to another 10 MB I can check this and you can see it says 109 MB now next what I'm going to do is I am going to create a mirror volume now what a mirror volume is that it actually mirrors our data across different disks so it does give us fault tolerance and 
I would be recording at least two discs for this that if one disc was to fail I can use the second disc and that would protect my data from getting corrupt so I'd go back to my server and I can just do I'll just go on the empty space to, uh, new mirror volume do next and I'll give it 50 MB now if you do notice uh, selected is disk 1 I give it space 50 but the next is not highlighted because it does uh, require at least two minimum disks to write to mirror across the both disks so the will will I have disk 2 is if I add this and now you can see it uh, it says disk 1 50 MB and disk 2 MB 50 MB and the total size is only 50 it's not 100 just uh, make sure of this because it's going to mirror everything so though I am using 50 MB from disk 1 and 50 MB from disk 2 but I would be getting the size of the disk only 50 because the rest of the fi disk 50 MB is going to be mirrored I'll do next 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 and finish now this is an important message that whenever you are going to uh, create a, a volume either mirrored or spanned it you have to do it on a dynamic disk and yes so just read the message it says that you cannot uh, install an operating system on the disk so I'll do yes as you can see now it says uh, mirrored volume and these are two mirrored volumes so if I go on to just check it you can see 49 MB it's created a new disk uh, that's F sorry it's created a new volume uh, that's a volume F and it's 49 MB whereas uh, the actual size I'm using is 100 MB but it's just mirroring that's why it says 49 okay and next what I'm going to do is I am going to create a span volume now what a span volume uh, span volume is a dynamic disk and what I can do is I can if, say I have five disks with me I can from the first disk use uh, 50 MB from the second 10 MB third 30 MB and just take at the amount of size I require and create a span volume out of it so let's create a spanned volume I'll go back to my server and do right click new spanned volume do next and you can see it says disk 1 I'll give it space 50 and from the second disk then add that and from the second disk I can take space 70 so the total volume is going to be 120 I do next 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 and you can see I have a disks I have a volume sorry of 120 MB we can just recheck this it says 119 uh, the volume G now I can, if I had another disk uh, and I can even extend it you can see extend volume and I can just extend it with another 10 MB we finish and if you if I can, I can just recheck this see 129 MB so say imagine I have another 4 or 5 disks I can whatever space I require I can just take it and create a span volume out of the space that is required okay and next what I'm going to create is a stripped volume and what it does is it uh, stripped volume it writes uh, data in strips across two or more disks it is also called rate zero so to, go to create that I'll go back on my server I'll on the remaining space I'll do, I'll do a right click a new stripped volume next and what I'm going to do is add both of them add and I can give it space 40 MB next you can see it's just picked up 40 from both sides next 
the sign a letter next 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 and as you can see it's created a stripped volume I can just recheck this and you can see 79 MB so in this exercise we created a simple volume, a span volume, strip volume and a mirror volume and I hope this helped, uh, this video was just a basic introduction of disk management and in the coming videos I would try to go more in advance thanks for watching